once I walked out and there was like a turkey standing like almost right outside the door. So I did not leave for a while. Hi, my name is Sequoia and I'm a first year at Harvard. I'm planning on concentrating in chemistry on the pre-med track and I live in Greeno Hall and I'm giving you guys a tour of my dorm today. So Greeno is one of the three union dorms and it's on Prescott Street along with Pennypacker and Hurlbutt. They're called the union dorms because we are not in Harvard Yard. All of these dorms were apartments that Harvard bought. So that's why the setup is kind of a little bit different than the typical first year dorm that you would see in the yard. And I like it a lot because we have kind of our own community out here while still just being a minute walk away from the yard and all of our classes, which is really nice. And we've got a lot of cool features like our own laundry and the common room and a kitchen, which is really nice and it's really spacious rooms and I like it a lot. So when I first walked in and saw the common room, I was really excited because that was one of the things I was looking forward to having. And I was also pleasantly surprised to see how big our bedroom was and that we had a walk-in closet and how just spacious everything was. So right now we are standing in the common room and this is our front door where you enter. And then to the left here is one of my roommate's desk spaces. And then this one is mine, where I have just some like letters from home and a vision board that we made at my pre-orientation program. And here's like where I do work either really early in the morning or really late if I don't want to go out to the library. And also where I get ready in the mornings as well for classes and just can kind of just come and hang out and during the day. I sometimes even eat meals here if I don't want to eat in Annenberg. I'll sit here and watch like Gilmore Girls or something on my iPad. We have a bookshelf. I just have like some snacks if I get hungry late at night and don't want to go to brain break at Annenberg. And I also have our micro fridge, which is from the HSA. It's like a combination of a microwave and a refrigerator, which is really nice and convenient to have. And over here is the door to our bedroom. We just have a full length mirror hanging on here um, so that we can see our outfits before we leave for the day or even like when we're getting ready for bed or just going out somewhere. And then here is our bedroom. We have plenty of windows, which is really nice. And this is my roommate's bed. And we each have our own dresser with about five to six drawers, which is really nice. And this is my space. I went for like a white and like light blue theme, which I really like because blue is my favorite color. And I just have some nice pictures on the wall as well that have some nice messages on them. And my dresser and fan, as it gets really hot in the first weeks of school because we don't have air conditioning. And I also have my shower rack and my shoe rack. And now we have the best feature of this room, the walk-in closet. Reno is probably one of the only dorms, the freshman dorms that has this. It's really nice, it's really spacious. We each have our own section as well as shelving above it and on the other side. And we have these nice little hooks that come in handy to hang our robes and coats on, which I really love. That's all there is to this room, but I'm gonna take you guys to the hallway and show you guys the bathroom. And now we're in the hallway and to my left here, we have the wonderful bottle filler, which is really nice to have right outside of my room so I can fill my water bottle whenever I need to. And now I'm also gonna show you guys the bathroom, which is right here as well. So the common setup here is just one shower, one toilet, and then two sinks. And it's shared between about, usually about five people. In my case, it's five other girls. We have a pretty nice setup here when you walk into the shower. It's just like, um, a changing space before you get into the actual shower, which is really nice because then you don't have to get in your robe or anything wet. Then we also have the bathroom, which is just one toilet, like one stall and is pretty spacious. And then we have our two sinks with our mirror, which is also really nice because then you, you, I usually don't have to wait to use the bathroom or wash my hands or do anything like that. So that's all for our bathroom and I'm going to take you guys to the common room downstairs. Okay, we are in the basement of Greeno in the common room, which is one of the spaces down here. And this is like the more of like the hangout space. It's where like we have game nights with our entryway or watch a movie. People can just also come down here to sit and study or just hang out with friends. The TV has like cable, but you can also hook up your laptop or your phone to stream a show that you also want to watch. And this is the ping pong table. 
This is where a lot of entryway ping pong tournaments happen. I've yet to join one, but I'm definitely gonna start practicing and join the next one. And then this is uh, just like a little table over here, which is also where a lot of entryway events happen. It's where we painted rocks and made postcards to be sent home, as well as just like hanging out and studying with your friends here as well. This is a really nice space to do that. And now I'm gonna take you guys across the hall to our laundry space. And I actually had quite the terrifying laundry experience. I came down here to do my clothes because I felt like I had nothing left and I needed stuff to wear. And I was really terrified when I saw the machine say a dollar and 50 cents and have a slot to enter your quarters. So I did not bring any quarters from home. But don't worry, you do not need to bring quarters because you can just use your ID to use the machines, which I figured out soon enough. This is how you do it. You like select the washer and then you like do that and then you swipe your ID to pay. So we have four washers and four dryers. They're each a dollar and 50 cents. The washers take about 30 minutes and the dryers take about an hour. And they there's actually a really neat website called Laundry View that you can see which machines are being in use and how much time they have left. So you can time out to do your laundry so that you don't come that all the way down here to find that all the washers are already taken and you can't do your clothes. It's a very nice space and it's very convenient to have in Greenough. And now I'm just gonna show you guys the other common facilities that we have in the basement here out in the hallway. And Greeno is really awesome because it has a lot of the common facilities like a laundry room and a kitchen and a common room, which is a lot of the other first year dorms don't have, which is really, really nice and really convenient to have, especially so that you don't have to leave your dorm to do your laundry. And the first room here off to the right next to the laundry room is the vending machine room. It's just got a bunch of snacks in there that you can use your card at or your ID with Crimson Cash to buy a snack late at night. And then right next to that room, we have the kitchen, which is where it has a refrigerator, a freezer, a stove, a microwave, anything you can imagine in like a normal kitchen where you can just make a meal with your friends or even just bake a cake or just anything. It's open to use anytime. And then next to that room, is the music room, which is really, it's a really nice space. Greeno is one of the few first year dorms that have a music practice room. It's got a larger practice area along with two smaller practice spaces. It includes a piano and a few others um, like music stands to practice your instrument if you play one, which is really convenient to have as well. And then we just have a public restroom that's open to any use for anyone here. And then we have the not so exciting garbage room over here. And then just beyond that is our study room, which has a printer and a few desktops, which is also really convenient to have a printer right in our dorm in case you need to print something for a class or an assignment. And that's it for the basement, but we're gonna go outside to our courtyard. And now we're standing in the wonderful courtyard of Greeno, which is in the Greeno backyard. And this is where we did a lot of our orientation week entryway meetings. We had a race between the entryways where we raced like an egg on a spoon and some people did cheat. So my entryway did not win, but you know, it's okay. No hard feelings. We also did like a meditation thing out here, which is really nice when it was really pretty and warm. And we made like the norms or like expectations for entryway as well, which is really fun and nice. And that is all that there is to Greeno. And thank you for joining me on the tour. And if you get Greeno, you should be really, really excited because it's an awesome space, an awesome dorm, and there truly is everything here. And I'm sure you'll enjoy it.